Brooklyn Independent Television. February is American Heart Month, and we want to devote our next two segments to heart health care. Coming up, we'll talk to a cardiologist about the broader picture. But first, we bring you inside a specific and very important cardiac service offered by one of our leading Brooklyn hospitals. Thank Do you. you know why you were asked to come over here today? Well, I was sent over from the cardiology clinic and they told me that I had a uh, positive stress test. And so they sent me here for further studies. Okay, have you been having any chest pains before they did the stress test? I have been. Past couple of weeks I've been having uh, some chest pains while walking. Do you have any risk factors that you believe could have put you at risk for possible heart disease sure. according to what they could have told you in the clinic? Well, I'm sure my diabetes is probably one factor. Uh, I do smoke occasionally and uh, I do have a family history of heart disease. Do you believe that you are physically active or, or you live a sedentary life? Well, I don't exercise as often as I should. I don't exercise at all, really. So. Okay. All right. Because you had the chest pain and you had risk factors for heart disease and they did a stress test for you which was abnormal, there is a strong likelihood that you may have a type of heart disease we call atherosclerotic heart disease, mm. which means that there may be a blockage in your arteries that supply the heart muscle. Mm. The reason why you're here today is to do something we call the angiogram. The cardiac catheterization laboratory is a, it's an area of the hospital where we do diagnostic tests that tells us whether a patient has clogged arteries or not. There are a number of procedures that we can do over here, the commonest of which is the coronary angiogram, which looks at the arteries that feed the heart muscle to see whether there's any blockage or not. Okay, Mr. Johnny, we're going to get the procedure started. Like I mentioned to you, the first thing you're going to feel is a noodle stick, which is the anesthetic in the skin. And after that, you shouldn't feel anything. This is a procedure where we go into the patient through either the groin or the arm by putting what looks like an IV, they will call it uh, a sheath or a catheter. We put that in the big artery in the, in the groin or in the wrist. And then we thread a very tiny catheter through that big artery all the way back to the heart. And then when we get to the heart, we inject something that looks like water they will call it a dye because it's an x-ray contrast. When that material goes into the arteries, it makes them dark on x-ray. And we can see the arteries like branches of a tree, and we can tell whether those arteries are clogged or clean. This is uh, like an x-ray picture of a patient's heart looking at the arteries. Over here is a tube, what we call the catheter that takes the dye to the patient's heart. Now, as we look at the frame by frame, in this artery, we can see this string appearance right here. This artery is supposed to be as fat here and as fat here should be the same diameter right here. Over here, there is a clogged artery in the second obtuse marginal branch of the circumflex artery. And we can see it as a place in real time. You can look over there. That's exactly where the blockage is. So the kind of clogged arteries that we're talking about, this is the way it looks on angiogram. You know, this technology allows us to see where the blockage is and it can let us plan how to unblock that blockage with an angioplasty and stent. We know the risk factors for heart disease. Some of these risk factors we can modify, some of the risk factors we cannot modify. But the things that we can modify are factors like diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, cigarette smoking, being overweight, sedentary lifestyle, or sometimes type A and aggressive personality has been shown to be related to heart disease also. So for people to really uh, reduce their risk for heart disease, these factors have to be taken care of. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.